Hello YouTube, SC Fishkeeping here coming to you today with another video. Today's video is the second installment of my feeding series, Feed Them on the Fifth. If you're unfamiliar with this series, the point is to make a quick, fun, enjoyable feeding video, which I enjoy making, people enjoy watching, and uh, yeah, we feed something, I tell you a little bit about what they eat, and we have some fun doing it. Now, in the first Feed Them on the Fifth, I showed you the gulper and I showed you a frozen shrimp, a frozen alternative. Well, today we're going to go back to the gulper, but we're going to do a live fish. And there's a very important reason for why I'm doing this right now. So let's head over to the tank and I'll tell you why. Okay, so we are back in front of the gulper catfish tank. He is there hiding in that PVC. I'll give you a better shot of him in a second. Uh, the reason that we're focusing on the gulper catfish again in today's Feed Him on the 5th is... We're going to use a live feeder. We're going to use a, a live goldfish. And there's been a, a kind of boost in the popularity of the gulper catfish that I've seen across YouTube in really just the last few months. There have been a few big YouTube channels out there that I won't name names, but I really mean no disrespect to them. I'm glad that to see other people learning just how amazing this fish is. But they call them things like the blob catfish, the ogre catfish, and I watch them take these feeders from, you know, their local pet store or PetSmart, Petco, whatever. They take them straight from the bag, they take them out, and they drop them straight in the tank. Well, that's really not the right way to do it. You're potentially introducing a lot of harmful parasites to your gulper, and there's no nutrients in feeders. So the point of today's video is I'm going to show you the right way to use feeders. This really works for any predator fish, anything that you use feeders for. I'm going to show you the right way to do it, the healthy way to do it and a way to add nutrients to that feeder to make sure that you're giving your predator or your gopher the healthiest meal possible. So let's go do that. We'll come back and we'll feed this guy. He's definitely ready to eat. Just like any other fish you buy, you wouldn't just stick a brand new fish from the store in your tank because you could be introducing potential parasites. You wouldn't want to go stick one of these feeders straight into your tank to have it eaten by whatever predator fish you're feeding. So having a quarantine system allows me to watch these feeders and make sure that they're not sick and I'm not giving any potential bad things to the gulper. So when you gut load your fish, it's going to do one, you know, hugely important thing. Your gopher catfish is not just going to eat a pellet or a flake. My bass don't eat pellets or flakes. So they don't have the opportunity to get this, these vitamins and the kelp and all that other stuff in a high quality flake. So you feed it to the feeder, they digest it a little bit, then you feed the feeder to the predator and they get the benefit of that stuff. So gut loading is a fantastic way to add some nutrients to an otherwise nutrient, you know, lacking food like a, a feeder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let those uh, goldfish kind of digest for about 45 minutes. We'll grab one of them out and we'll take them out to the gulper tanks. And just like that, 
We have fed the gulper catfish. We fed him a live feeder. We gut loaded the feeder. We quarantined the feeder so we are comfortable that he got a good nutritious meal that is not going to make him sick. So there you guys go. We are going to wrap up this edition of Feed Him on the 5th. I hope you enjoyed it. With more and more people being exposed to this amazing, awesome gulper catfish, I'm fortunate to be able to have one and share my knowledge with you guys. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully uh, maybe it encourages some of you to go out and get a gulper catfish of your own. They're really, really awesome fish. So thank you for watching. Next month on the 5th, we will do another feeding. This one, let's make it between the silver arowana, the rainbow wolf fish, the green spotted puffers, and the ball python. I'll do a poll on the community tab as well uh, here shortly so that you guys can vote. Tell me what you want to see me feed, what you want to talk you want me to talk about diet wise but uh yeah until the next one i will see you soon bye fish see you later see you soon bye bye